See, it's nice when you hit him with an arrow first, and then you know it's only two shots um, to to get him again. So let's see if we can uh, see if we can use this. Two fifty six. So we're probably ten, right? Ten. One. Five twelve. Uh, what's five twelve? Silver, maybe? Yep, silver. Excellent. We said we'd stop for silver. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy there, big guy. Um, yeah. So sometimes I don't like to. Um, I'm gonna put that there just just in case. Watch our back. Watch our back, right? Um, I don't like to, and I'm I'm holding down shift so I don't fall off. I don't always like to fill in the lava spots, especially if I think that we're gonna come back and and get the lava. Um, I like to to have as much lava available as possible. Two fifty six, one twenty eight. But uh, I also don't like to be too close there. So, again, we're looking for, really looking for 8,000. Um, we'd also be looking for tungsten and um, uranium's good, good, fine by me. So, just keep looking this way. And, you know, you know when not to be too repetitive. So, what did we decide? Where's the lava from here? There's the lava from here. Okay. Oh, and this does, I believe, it will start, I think, using up our coal um, after a certain point. So, let's just move ourselves along here. Try to go over around three or so to find goodies. Sometimes, you know, you can look, look straight up. You might need to head around the other side. I want to make sure that watch our backs, right? Watch our backs. But you gotta love this. The first time that you find diamond, uh, because you're using this divining rod, it's really a great feeling. Um, of course, like I said, oh, whoa, there we go. So four thousand is gonna be either uranium or gold. Uranium. Oh, we didn't look at the gold bars, did we? To figure out, I told you that I thought it was four thousand. Oh, have I been here before? Oh, heh, wow, we just kind of broke through. Okay, well, I'm just going to start uh, using this in every direction. And I think we're, we're only going three, possibly three through. Four, four, one, 256, 85. What's redstone? I can't remember what redstone is. Redstone, I think, is in the... High hundreds, if not low thousands, is that right? I can't remember. Uh, let's go back down here and what did we decide? Anyway, oh wow, is it dark? Sorry about that, guys. Make some make some torches here, right quick. Sometimes I forget that. Uh, it even it looks worse when you're watching it. So, okay, um, back to the divine rod. I'm not one in circles. Boy, not much happening. We can always look below us and find 320. What's 320? Probably maybe iron. I know it's dangerous. I know. I know it's dangerous. See now I can. Aha! Redstone. So we're in the 320s. We're not even in the thousands. Excellent. Nice. Perfect. No lava, no lava, no whammies. There's nothing worse than getting all excited about redstone and then it goes falling into the uh, into the lava. So, wow, we are deep. We are at level 8. And so, um, I'd like to get back up to somewhere between 12 and 20. Since I'm here, I'll just grab this, just to get it out of the way. Okay, and... Okay, um, that, that was pretty good. No, no diamond yet, but... 
you know, let's let's work our way around here. Never know what's going to be inside here. Make sure there's no, we're not missing anything next to the lava. Can't forget to do this right below us too. More coal there. After a while, you start to to memorize the numbers, and you can pretty much tell what you're. Okay. And sometimes you just uh, take a guess. Just uh, head in a specific direction, and you never know what you're going to find. So, but the other one is definitely more helpful, the, the last um, divining rod, because it goes much deeper, and uh, you can certainly head off in a different direction. How are we doing on running out of coal here? So I'm using this divining rod an awful lot. So let's um, have we gone full circle? I think we've gone full circle. I think it's time to move on to a new area. Oh, oh, here we go. I always use this. And what is this worth? Oh, it's not giving us a value. Why is it not giving us a value? Anyway, it's worth a thousand. It must be because um, this as a block has no value. Just like if I were to check out iron, it has no value until it's smelted. Um, but this is a uh, ruby, sapphire, and emeralds are unusual, uh, kind of like a lapis in that you, um, as soon as you mine them, you get, you know, whatever, whatever the ore is, or the gem. So it kind of converts right then. Um, we, what did we do over here? We got to, see, what used to be a dead end can now be maybe worth something. 512. It's worth something. And again, it's silver. That's just fine with me. You don't use a lot of silver at the beginning, but it's definitely valuable to have as an exchange. And, ah, leading to nickelite. Nickelite's worth 256, which doesn't sound like a whole lot, but because, um, it comes in such great amounts. It is absolutely worth it. And we're about to use up our pick. Ah, that's no good. I was hoping to get this repaired, but we have so much iron back back home that it's not that big of a deal. I'll just take some of this tin while we're here. And this gives us a new spot to check from. 256. 85. Six. Okay. Again, this may seem boring now, but the first time that you are inches away from diamond, and this helps you find it. I mean, because diamond really could be one block deep here, right? And you might miss it the entire time. So, six. So, if you have any questions about how this works, uh, just leave it in the comments. And uh, I'll do my best to answer it, but it's really pretty self-explanatory. Once you get the uh, the next step up, you'll really have a, a better idea um, the true value of this. And I'm just kind of you know you work your way around, and I imagine this is when they were using divining rods to try and find water. This is really kind of let's, let's go up here and see what happens when we take a peek back here light this place up is probably where all the mobs are coming from when I got my back turned because I haven't lit this up. I try to do my best in lighting, lighting these places up. You never know where these guys are going to come from. But I think I say that every episode. So we have a nice little dead end here and we're up to 35. Wow, look at the coal. I hate to use my, you know what? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not wasting my time right now. I'm especially not wasting that pick. Um, I will waste it on this though. Not, not actually a waste, but Grab all that silver because of the value. Um, let's head back this way. And I would love to find a little bit more redstone. Oh, we have another area over here. Let's build ourselves like a little kind of catwalk off the edge here. And I'm sure something, something is waiting for us. I love, love endless. Oh, 
damn, I love the, the, when something surprises you like that. This was here the whole time. Look how steep this is. And the bad thing is, now we could, we could create, ah, uranium. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. We are going to mine this whole area out and hopefully find a ton of goodies here without falling in lava. 85. So see, it's not picking up that because it's not within one block around. Uh, 256. 85. Okay. It's easy. Steady. Steady. Um, yeah. See, we have plenty of room in our pack. I think we're going to be a little inefficient here. That, that's okay. That's okay. Um, we're about to lose this pick. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to just, um, we have plenty of cobblestone and we have some wood. So I'm going to make ourselves a little crafting table here. And I'm doing this so we don't have to go all the way back. Uh, and now let's make ourselves a furnace. Cobblestone is cheap. And um, we are going to cook up all of this right now. I think it's worth it. I do. Um, just so we can stay down here and make the most of our time. I think I'm going to need 256. 56. Okay. Um, yeah, we're going to make ourselves a couple of picks. In fact, we're going to make one just for uh, mining cobblestone, which means we're going to have to we're gonna make a couple of those, um, which means that we're going to have to switch back and forth. But that's, you know, I'm, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Exactly what we need. And I already miss our project table. This stuff's popping out. So make ourselves a brand new pick. And let's go to town. I'm not even going to use a divining rod. I'm just going to cut a huge swath in all this uh, right around this lava. I'm just going to empty this out. Um, and I'm probably going to make these two by one um, pathways so that we're, um, with a minimal amount of work, we're exposing the most amount of um, surface area. So we can find, um, this is this is just like strip mining, right? And let me put up a torch here for you. Um, we can get this tin without using our own pick. And so I'm just gonna make kind of a circle around here. And is this more uranium or are we gonna pop out in the we definitely need the iron pick for the uranium. Love it, love it. I'm just going to kind of drop down here. I actually have no idea. Ah, <laughs> we did come perfectly full circle. So that's nice. Okay, so um, let's see if we can grab these without uh, falling into lava or opening up anything. We're about to lose our pick any minute here. Okay. We definitely need ourselves some more coal. Just to kind of expose this area. Let's not fall in the lava if we can help it. And now what we can do is we can go around this perimeter and check and see what we have here. Uh, our depth is 11, a little bit lower than I'd like to be, but uh, 128, 26, 512. Excellent. Let's see what we got down here. Hopefully not lava. Nicolite. Although it's below the lava here, that makes me nervous. Okay. And make sure I have a way out of here before I um, break into lava. Alright, love this stuff. Love it. Stacks and stacks, and that's exactly what I didn't want to do, but now we know where it's at. Okay, so let's keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Ah, more Nick Light. Somehow I, I missed that. Ah, redstone! All right. Whoa! Whoa! Woo! Wow, that was, uh, that was a doozy. Um, so how are we going to... Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to do that. Then we're gonna place, 
place it right there to block it off. I want every bit of this redstone. I don't want to lose any of it. So we're going to make sure that we are absolutely careful. Oh, look at the uranium. Damn, this is successful. The only thing that can make this better would be finding diamond. Um, let's see, how are we doing here? Four, four. I, I, I'm pretty damn happy with this. So we'll take that, that, that. Make sure we're not digging down into... Oh, look at the redstone. All right, guys, we are set. We are set for a while. I'm extremely, extremely happy. And uh, close to lava here. Easy. Always got dirt at the ready, so we can do that. Oops. Okay, we are good. We are good. Got to be quick there. Quick on the draw. Diamonds, diamonds are just—they're just, just going to be tough. Uh, um, this series, I think. So. Oh, oh. Ouch! 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 Gosh. Well, if I do die here, uh, and I should be bringing a um, bucket of water. If I do die here, um, all of our stuff will be down in this hole. We're just going to have to haul ass. Oh, okay. God, really, really pushing ourselves here, guys. Really pushing ourselves. Okay. Okay, um, so we need to you know, move back on up here. Move on up. And let's, uh, do we scan in these directions? 512, take that. Probably some more, probably some more nickelite. Nope, nope, silver, that's right, that's right. Forgot. So many EMC values to try and remember. Oh, and more redstone. Heh. <laughs> This is great. This may not be the most exciting as far as finding new um, new items or building new, but this this particular episode is all about just stacking up tons of valuable resources. Just a living ton. That's great. We, my friends, we will find diamonds soon enough. We will, I promise. So, just check around here. Check around, check around. And not much happening. Around here, 85, we know what that's from. And, ah, we need to build ourselves a little... Kind of a little walkway so we can gather this stuff. I don't mind covering up the lava for now. The light's not, not that big of a deal. So, let's get busy. I'm glad I emptied our pack so that we... Harvest this wonderful, wonderful bounty in the earth. Although, you know what I do think of when I'm doing this? You guys ever seen, and, and uh, those of you who know me know I love this movie, um, Return to Oz. It's a movie Disney made um, where they combined a couple of uh, L. Frank Baum's um, uh, Oz books. And uh, in that movie, the Gnome King um, enslaves... Um, some of the people from Oz, including the Scarecrow, turns them into certain ornaments and he takes back every last emerald that uh, the people of Oz had quote unquote stolen from him. And uh, the reason is uh, he was the Gnome King, he resided underground, which meant that everything underground belonged to him. And that was his reasoning, which is it's just kind of interesting. So any emerald that, that came out, rubies or whatever, um, he decided that he would take back and uh, use that excuse. Just want to make sure we weren't falling off there um, to to confiscate everything. So, yeah, he pretty much uh, uh, pretty much just sort of destroyed the entire Emerald City. But um, yeah, very very interesting movie, A wonderful movie, dark, dark like uh, Dark Crystal or Labyrinth, I believe. In my opinion, uh, but just a wonderful movie. So, eight, eight. All right. Okay. I think we're gonna head back up right now. We can start making some more items, and uh, we'll come back and search for the elusive uh, diamond at another another point. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this wonderful silver here, and then we'll take stock. It's almost like we've gone out for Halloween, and we're coming back to uh, check out our our loot grab.
we are not quite full, but uh, we have thousands and thousands worth of EMC value, and we're still finding little bits up here. Nice emeralds to grab there. And uh, we're not out of the woods as far as mobs yet, so um, keep your eyes peeled. Keep them peeled, as Dad would say. And head on up here. Keep your eyes out. Sometimes, uh, and I don't think we found tungsten yet, but tungsten uh, at first glance can look just like coal. So I want you to keep your eyes peeled for um, tungsten. Uh, instead of being um, angled bits, uh, they're rounded bits. It looks more like black sapphire. Whoops. Whoopsie. Um, let's grab a little bit more coal. I think we're drying up on the coal here. And, uh, yeah, make sure to, make sure you don't let the, uh, 256, 256, what is 256? Whoops, where's that coming from? Where is that coming from? Um, I think I might have mentioned, I like digging into gravel, um, just because it's, it, it's an easy, oh, it's tin, huh. Um, you'll notice that uh, the shovel being iron uh, doesn't automatically go into your um, your hotbar because it's a different type of shovel. Now, if it were just another stone shovel, it'd pop right in there. Um, not a big deal. So, I don't know where this guy is, uh, where the growling's coming from, from Mr. Uh... Oh, yeah, break on through to the other side. Whoops. Thank you for the water. One of the few times. Oh, man alive. This is awesome. I think I am running out of time for, for these episodes, though. So um, what I'm going to do is keep this as a reminder here. Um, make a nice little uh, walkway uh, back over here. And we are going to come back, on, come back here uh, and exploit that brand new tunnel. That's going to be great. Okay, so we got some... Got something to do for the next episode. Now, which way, which way do we go? Which way? Not that way. Um, obviously this is not, I thought we were headed the right way until we got distracted. Did something happen? Oh, maybe I just took out our... Don't let me get lost, guys. What in the hell? I actually have no idea where we are now, but it's good to know that we have more ways to go. And uh, we are not by far done with this mining setup. There's, wow, okay. We we have a lot to do. A lot, to, looks like somebody took some fall damage. Um, okay, more mobs. Watch out for Mr. Creeper. Okay, so um, we know that, um, to put this here. Let's head back this way. I feel like... See, ow! What are you, butthole? Okay, all right, buddy. Grab those. Be happy to take those from you. And just because we're in harm's way, I'm going to start eating some zombie flesh. Hopefully one of these heals me up. And I figured I'd get sick at some point. So, um, we decided that way was not the way. And... Did I miss the... Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. I know where I'm going. Yes. Okay. Once we see our little lava capture there, I know we are headed in the right direction. This way, and... Continue. Continue? No, no. We took, see, we took another wrong turn. How did we do that? How did we do that? On the left... Oh! You know what? I'm moving these torches, because I've, I've missed this uh, a few times. We're moving these to right here. I can see them much better. So anyway, I'm going to head up uh, topside, and uh, this will be the end of, um, of the this episode. I'll probably split it into two again. But uh, we'll start to make a few more machines and uh, really go hog wild with our... Oh, look at the stack. We have, we have redstone to make batteries for days. So we're going to make... We're probably going to make our extractor, which is going to be really nice. We can get all of that... Um, all the sap out of that wood and make get some use out of that wood. Where I am turning I thought that where's the lava at? 
Oh, it's above us. Okay. Anyway, uh, we're going to make a few more machines. Uh, we're going to get our iron furnace going, which will be easy. Um, but uh, look for that in the next set of episodes. And uh, thanks for joining me, guys. And as always, uh, I'll see you on the next run. Hey, uh, please leave me comments letting you know that you like the series, uh, that uh, you're having a good time, or it's boring, I need to kick it up a notch. Uh, just let me know what you think. Uh, I love comments, and uh, if you like it, uh, the series, uh, just give me a like just to let me know. Whoops. God. Yeah, I'm about to fall in that lava. That's a great way to end the episode, isn't it? Um, but yeah, just I love uh, uh, feedback. So just let me know, and I will uh, try to improve the series because uh, I just I love doing this. So and uh, catch you next time, guys. Later.